belongs to you. The enemy... Hey Thieves, this is a DD Backstab Bot Guild Wars 2 guide, so in the intro there I showed a few clips of the massive backstabs you get and the massive burst this build has. So let's get into traits and stuff. So we run Shortbow Dagger Dagger of course for a Dagger Dagger build. Shortbow for mobility, poison field, AoE weakness and poison, cripple and in evade, this is a great skill if you know how to use it properly. Good AoE damage, good range the bleeding's not so useful and the auto attacks pretty lackluster apart from the immobilize steel of course this build is heavily traded around steel deals a thousand damage steals boons heals you gives them two poison dazes gives you those four boons which have 50 percent uptime and it steals two boons for five targets and 1200 range so on short bow you run air energy sigil since this is more of a defensive weapon You'll be in Dagger Dagger, then switch to this and you'll get a dodge back. Dagger Dagger runs Fire Air, of course, for the massive bursting damage. We run Marauder Sigil instead of Berserker because, as you see, you have a lot more health on the Marauder Sigil amulet. Um, for the rune, we run Worm Rune for the massive ferocity, crit damage, and it gives you quite a lot of health too. So we have 20k health on the Thief with still massive damage and a little bit less power than normal. So into traits we run Deadly Arts, Trickery and Shadow Arts. So in Deadly Arts this is the mainly like stealing line. So whenever you whenever you, um stealing gives poison and while you're down your auto attacks and everything apply poison. Mug is the best trait out of all these. So it of course heals you for two thousand, deals one thousand damage. This can't crit. Uh, whenever you give poison, you give weakness too. That's like 40% uptime. It's good for your steel and um, short bow 4. Panic strike when someone gets to 50% health, you immobilize them. That's good for getting off an extra cloak and dagger backstab combo or heart seeker. Then damage if your target has a condition, they'll always have a condition basically. So a free 10% damage and then slight um, executioner. So you do 20% more damage when they're less than half health. Stealing gives you initiative, so that just helps keeping your initiative high. When you steal, you gain 3 boons to 5 targets, allied targets. Increases your maximum initiative, of course, that's really useful. Um, steal 2 boons when you steal and gain vigor for 5 targets. And this is like stolen boons, so you can steal aid, ages, you can steal stability, all that stuff. Increases damage per initiative, you don't really utilize this that much, but steel recharges faster. And then steel recharges faster again and interrupts people. Then on Shadow Arts, when you're reviving an ally, you gain stealth, so that's just nice for a quick stealth if you press F when someone's down. Uh, this is a really good trait, so every three seconds you remove one of those conditions. It's really good now since conditions are really powerful in the meta. But Cloak and Dagger 5 re removes two of these conditions, because the first second you're in stealth, this ticks. And then the third second, or the fourth second, I'd say, this ticks again. So it removes two of those conditions if you remain in stealth, the full duration. Then stealth skills last longer. This is really useful for Cloak and Dagger, Shadow Refuge, and uh, yep. So when you grant stealth to an ally, they gain regeneration. This is also for yourself, so... This skill gives you regeneration, and Shadow Refuge gives you regeneration. And then, while you in stealth, you gain 300 health per second, and initiative. Initiative is once every 3 seconds, but the health is 300 health per second. So this skill would heal you for 1,200 plus the regen, so about 1,600 health. And you could utilize that very well. So then... That's the traits and traits and equipment and gear. So healing skill is withdraw. They they um move the cooldown on this to 18. It used to be 15, but it's still really good. 
a long evade and you can get away from many skills it heals you for a decent amount then you could run hide in shadows but it's a bit of a long cooldown for a heal skill on a thief although the stealth is really nice and the condi clear so then shadow step of course 1200 range blink and it goes back to the target spot and breaks down twice and this is really good for when you're stomping someone you start the stomp blink away and when you're almost done blink back shadow refuge of course massive healing on a thief now even without um, healing power so every time this ticks you gain regeneration and it has the passive auto heal I'll try and show that off so yep yeah, that's the regen from it about 10 seconds then Infiltrator Signet, so that's a stun breaker, extra initiative gain, and really good for keeping up with your targets and gap closing since this build lacks that. Lacks the gap closers of DP Thief. And then Basilisk Venom, of course, you could run um, Daggerstorm if you want to, but I prefer Basilisk because you can just stealth, and then Basilisk and get two interrupts free. So yep, yeah, some of the basic rotations are just cloak and dagger backstab, so backstab only triggers while you're in stealth, it's a stealth attack for thief. Um, Heartseeker when they're below 50% does quite high damage, 25% even more, but the, below 50% does 20% extra damage due to the executioner trait up here. But So Heartseeker when someone's below 50%, otherwise just cloak and dagger, backstab and auto attack. Combining Heartseeker and Steel together is high damage. And also, this is a really good Steel skill because it gives you 4 seconds of stealth and 2 Condi Clears. On Shortbow, you're just going to be mainly range pressuring with Auto Attack and Shortbow 2. And then when they're low enough, you go in. Uh, the burst mainly comes from the Backstab and a flame blast and lightning strike procs, so here it goes. Yep, so the backstab, cloak and dagger combo. This is good for evading if you can see something coming and your healing skill and dodges are, are off. And then cloak and dagger backstab. Panic strike triggered there, that's why he got immobilized. You can just queue up your cloak and dagger and infiltrate a signet like so. And then get a backstab off really quickly. You can do the same with steel. Cloak and dagger steel. But you have to steal first so it doesn't trigger the revealed trait. Uh, you can you can do a few things if you're not in combat with the short bow. You can short bow two, short bow five, cloak and dagger, backstab. And so this is mainly for gap closing and stun breaks. If you if you see a big burst coming or you're low health, just shadow refuge and run into it. Preferably dodge while you're in shadow refuge. Use your heal skill if you need to, and you have a massive amount of stealth that goes up to 15 seconds. Then with this, more. So yep, yeah, that's the build, guys. And I'll queue up and then show you some gameplay. Q just popped. I pick Forest. Um, Temple is also good for this build, but I really hate Kylo map. Yeah, I just hate this map a lot. But Forest is really great, Temple's really great. I didn't know they had NPCs in this arena. Cool. Alright, we got Forest. Sweet. Forest is really good for starting around the back, starting around the sides. Thief usually comes up here and then into mid by blinking up to the ledge, but usually you can start around back and short bear pressure. So it looks like we got quite a few up levels. This might not go so well, but I can show off the build at least. Soup is a good thief, I know this guy. Um, we have three other people here. Uh, they have five pugs as well, two thieves, same as us. Ranger, Guardian, Engineer, so we have a Necro instead of a Ranger, but otherwise it's a Mirror Comp. I think Ranger is better, although Necro has massive pressure. So yep, Thief usually pops the swiftness, then comes up here. I'll show you a cool blink spot. 
if I can make it in time. That's the engineer. Hopefully he doesn't attack me. But yeah, he can blink up here. He can blink up here. He can blink over here. That guy's rude. Shadow Refuge heals you so much, as shown before. You can just blink back. Let's get a backstab. Okay. Uh, our guys know what they're doing. Pop this at the start at one second. So yeah, everyone has swiftness, fury, and might. Thief went home. I'm gonna rush straight mid while they do the beast. What build is this guy? Some sort of tanky guardian? Not really. I'm just gonna range pressure him. Lich came in. Wait till he dodges. Unblockable. Get a backstab off and then evade. Get some pressure down here. Pop a shadow refuge because the engineer's on our back. Backstab off again. Steal. Heartseeker. He's might he might it up there, which was a bad idea for him. Dodge back. Uh, our signets are full down. Uh, now pressure here. Try and get the stun off. That didn't work out so well. Holy shit, the ambulance though. Okay. Uh, they have three or four people up here. We only have two. And our necro's half health. This looks like a lost fight. Okay, Guardian's down again. Gonna poison him. He got up again. They just have too much res power. At the moment, we're gonna have to disengage this fight. Or oh, someone else is coming. Okay, gonna try and get a safe stomp in Shadow Refuge. What? I don't know how that happened. Okay, I was getting pressured by the thief and the ranger. The whole team's up here. Okay, that was a 5v2 and they were focusing on me. We have thief decapping far, although we still lost the points. They sent two back far. Uh, I'm gonna go help, I'm gonna cross with the thief. You've seized the henge. There's the rigmarole guy. Backstab. To shadow refuge there for the stealth. Uh, they have too many people over there. They sent three back. Our thief died. I'm gonna go head up mid. I don't have enough burst to steal, probably. Although I might try. Heart seeker when he's here. I think I got it. Yeah, I did. I stole it. Sweet. The PVE strats. Uh, they're gonna all come after me. Crap. The energy sigil helped there a lot. I'm probably still dead. 
if I don't make the jukes. Oh, that was a fancy play there. Okay, cool. I'm gonna head back far, harass them. Looks like mid is doing alright. Actually, not really. Guardian down at mid. We have a thief just coming in. For th oh, the Guardian got revived or rallied or something. Sweet. Two down, holy crap. I'm getting the decap on far. You've seized the hand. Okay, I'm heading back. Looks like we got a rally or two up there. The PvE strats, boys, wins games. Okay. Cool, we got it. Home is being lost, I'm gonna head back. I can't really see, there's one guy there, I think. As you see, shop is really good for mobility and range pressure. That's the NG. Oh, shit. There's no point fighting that. Gonna pop Shadow Refuge. We decapped. I'm gonna head back. Looks like this fight's not going so well. I'm gonna head mid. It's gonna be 2v2 up here. Couldn't backstab there. Hopefully. Oh, okay. This guy's dead. Still a 2v2. 3v2, actually. Dodge. Blink. There's a thief on me. Go back. Ah, oh, crap. I got out of the thief, but there are four people at mid. We should send one far. Looks like our thief is going far anyway. And now they're all going to our home. Or two of them are anyway. One ranger's going back. Okay, I'm gonna head home when I spawn. Try and get some backstabs off. The chieftain has returned. Backstab. Okay, this guy's dead. Maybe not. I'm gonna go on the thief. He's gonna steal onto me. DP thief, shadow refuge here. I got backstabbed, crap. I have three people here, what the hell? The backstab burst. Oh, I'm gonna pressure. Range pressure here. Dodge in here. Always dodge into a choke. He's down. Poison here. Oh shit, that was a bad idea. I had to use my thing to get up here. And they won, but I got some pretty good clips there. So yeah, that was the build. Thanks for watching and enjoy. And remember to subscribe.